Hey everyone, this is Ninjax and I present to you my first video for War of the Roses. This is a third person medieval combat game with a very unique combat system. It's similar to the Mountain Blade combat system, so for, for those of you who have played Mountain Blade, your skills will transfer over to this game. For this introductory video, I'm going to focus on the melee aspect of this game and eventually make more videos on the other classes. So for now, I'm using a very simple class. If you see me in the beta, you've seen me use this class before. It is a light armor and one-handed sword. It's a very technical class because without plate armor, you're going to have to rely on your blocking skills to survive. But the good news is, this playstyle is going to really showcase the intensity of close quarter combat in this game. Now, let me just give you a little bit of basic. For those of you who haven't played this game, haven't seen anything about it, basically there are four directions of attack. There is the up attack, like an overhand swing. There is the down attack, which is a thrust, and swings on both sides. In order to block those attacks, you have to block in the correct directions. There's an up block, a down block, and a right and left block. If you have a shield, you don't have to use directions. You can just hold down the shield button and it will block everything in front of you. But right now, I'm just using a sword, so I will have to uh, rely on this manual direction blocking in order to stay alive. Anyways, walking around right now, looking for enemies. This is a team deathmatch. The goal is to get 100 kills on your team before the opponent does. So for now, I'm just going to walk around this entire map, trying to find some opponents, trying to find some good fight for you guys and win them for you. Uh, a little bit about myself, for those of you who haven't checked out my channel, uh, I've been making Dota 2 videos before this, and one thing is that, uh, hold on, you know what, hold that thought, some enemies around, and can ambush this guy, no, I'm not going to be able to ambush him, going to fall back a little bit, there are too many uh, opponents there, I don't want to just jump in, there's a stab, and there's a slash, it's a two on one situation, but I think I can handle this, because this guy's very low, I just need like one more stab and this guy will die. Yep, that guy's dead. And now a swing on him. And a block and a counter attack. And a block. No, he didn't even hit me. So a quick slash here. He's not even attacking me. So now he's in a bleeding state. All I need to do is stab him one more time and he's going to go down. Easy one on two. So as I was saying, uh, I've been playing Mountain Blade since it's original beta. I'm not even talking about Warband, like the original Mountain Blade. I've been playing since that beta. So a lot of that blocking skills really transfer over to this game. As you can see there, it was a one on two fight, but just because I can block very well, they uh, they actually fell to me. Now he's in bleeding state. One thing about the bleeding state is that uh, once you're bleeding, you have to stand still to bandage. But uh, if you don't, you'll eventually bleed out and die and there is a dead enemy. There's another guy over here for me to backstab, so I'm going to jump over here. Nope. That blue shield you see, that's, uh, that means his armor blocked my attack. The armors in this game are pretty effective, especially the heavy armor. He's wearing medium armor, but uh, a lot of times with just a sword, you can block the attack with superior armor. And that guy, nope, that guy's not dead. That guy's dead now, but now I have to run because I am bleeding. As you can see, bleed out in 5 seconds. I'm just trying to run here and find a safe place to, uh, to bandage myself. So this looks good. In a bunch of bushes. Saved my life. Moving on. Okay. As I said, I will eventually make videos of other classes. For example, uh, like, the, uh, like the archers and the crossbowmen. For now, just the melee. That right there is a revive. So if your teammates or yourself gets knocked down, you can revive them. Provide that you're not executed, you can revive. So I'll show you an execution in a second. Oh, there are enemies here. So I'm gonna go, f go for this guy. Okay, this is not good. Now it's a two on one situation. It's time to run. Oh no, I got hit by an arrow. Okay, this is really bad. I gotta find a good place to hide and bandage. So hopefully this is good. That guy's gonna follow me. Uh, yeah, he missed me. So that's gonna buy me just enough time to heal up and fight again. Stop. Oh my god, I'm being surrounded here. So I'm just gonna continue to retreat. I don't wanna fight this fight anymore. Couple jumps. 
past this wall. Jumping over that wall is gonna make me safe against that horseman. But yeah, there are still two guys on my back. That guy's now bleeding. So, okay, but as you can see, the spawn system in this game is really weird. Because uh, the enemies can spawn anywhere, at any time, as long as there's close to a teammate. So there are situations where you're fighting one on one, and then the enemies will spawn right beside the enemy, making it like a three on one, or sometimes even a four on one. So there are situations that uh, that happens like that, and there's nothing you can really do about it. The developers say they will uh, upgrade that system, make it a little bit better, more realistic, so it's not so frustrating. Alright, there's a lot of chaos going around. Another thing I want to comment on are the horses in this game. They really dominate in open fields. For example, if they use lance, there's no way you can outreach their lance. So, uh, a lot of time, just stand there and wait until they lance you and you can't do nothing about it. But either way, I'm going a little bit off track here. I'm trying to look for fights. But there's a guy, there are two guys here, so a couple of staffs to initiate the fights. This is also a two-on-one, but I'm going to win it for you guys. Block, counter-attack, that guy's bleeding. going to charge toward him, and a following stab, finish him off. Block this guy's attack, counter-attack. Oh, he slashed me once. Counter-attack. As you can see, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage. Like, one damage there, the previous one was six damage. And that's, a lot of it is because of the heavy armor. That guy's bleeding, so one more block and a counter-attack. Nope, that didn't work. One more. Nope, he blocked that. And that should be it. I think I have to run. Yeah, I do. Because that guy is going to get revived. And it's going to turn to a three-on-one situation. So, going to retreat. And a stab here. And a stab. And one more stab. No. And there is a kill. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please. Run, run, run. Okay. Okay, now, now it's getting serious. I'm getting low on health, being chased by two guys with heavy armor. I'm going to teach you a trick to escape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a ladder. With light armor, you climb ladders a lot faster than heavy armor. So, you will see right now, if he tries to climb up, he's going to be a lot slower. This is going to buy me time to heal up with bandage. And by the way, bandages do heal you full health this game. So as long as you can find a safe spot, you can heal back again. It's a little bit abusable, it's not so realistic, but hey, that's how the game is right now. And uh, I'm just doing what, my, what I can to survive. And there's a guy here by himself. I'm going to backstab, backstab, and he's going to die. There are, there are archers up on top, so if I can find a good position to climb up, I could, I could kill a couple guys here. There we go. Mega kill streak. Just like that. Okay, both of them are dead. Oh, I could have showed off the execution. But uh, let me just briefly explain what it means. When I knock a guy down, they're not dead. They can't be revived unless I spend a couple more seconds executing him. Uh, what that does is uh, make sure he's dead, can't be revived. But usually I don't do it because 99% of the time, they're not going to be in a position to be revived anyways. But anyways, moving on. Okay, this is a bad spot. There are three guys, so time to run. I think now it's a little bit better. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's using a dagger. I don't know why he's using a dagger. Because now he's bleeding, and now he's dead. Uh, now I'm bleeding. Okay, gonna go and heal up. Hopefully no archers are gonna snipe me. Nope, all good. Still keeping my streak. Moving on. There's a guy. Gotta check my back though. Okay, the back is clear. There's an archer up top. But so far it's just this guy. Oh, never mind. There's this guy. Kill that guy. And stop him a few times. Check my back. Yeah, now my back is getting surrounded. So I'm gonna fall back a little bit. Don't wanna get myself in a position where I have to fight like four guys around me. I'm gonna back off and look for another direction. One thing about this class is that I call it a ninja class because a lot of it depends on backstabbing. You don't have the heavy armor, you don't have the heavy weapons, what you do have is a little bit better mobility. 
So, with that better mobility, you gotta take advantage of it, wrap around, find lone targets, especially the archers who are aiming at the, at the front line. If you get behind them and you execute a good swipe, you can kill them in two or three hits. Actually, more like three or four hits. I'm gonna show you that right now. Like that guy, he's aiming in that direction. He doesn't know I'm here, so I'm gonna backstab. 30 damage, 14. But uh, he's gonna draw into his weapon, so I do have to duel him. How did I? I thought it was. Never mind. I thought I blocked that attack, but whatever. Okay, this guy is being annoying. Okay, now he's bleeding. One more attack. One more attack. I'm gonna block his down. Yes, there we go. There's a kill. So now I'm gonna show the execution. There it is. Bam! And he is permanently dead. You get a little bit more points, but as I said, the reason I don't do it often is because I don't like wasting that extra second standing there. What I mean is that that guy was down, he wasn't going to be revived anyways. So there's no reason for me to really stand there and execute where I can move around, find more opponents, maybe help on my teammates, etc, etc. Alright, let's... Looks like the round's almost over, the enemies are ahead, 87 kills to our 79. A little bit tough to get back from uh, from this situation, but I'm just going to do my best, kill as many people as I can, and uh, show you guys some good fights. Let's climb up this place. Hmm, no enemies. Okay, there are some guys down there, so looking for a fight. Stop. That guy's dead. And yeah, this guy looks pretty surrounded and nothing much you can do. Unless teammate comes in. This is really clustered. I don't like these clustered fights. Just because there's so many teammates around. You don't know how your swings are going to end up. So, I'm going to wrap around. Grab myself a kill like this. Oh look, easy kill. He was low in life. One stab, he was dead. And let's finish this guy off. He's using a dagger. And that guy's bleeding. Free kill. And that guy's dead. Free kill. 98 kills to 92. Very close, but I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Make sure... No. Let's revive this guy. Oh, can't revive. I'm getting shot at. But here we go. That's the round. 94 to 100. Very close round. Uh, really like this round. I mean, I showcase a lot of good, uh, good close core combat. A lot of blocks. A lot of really tough situations, like a two-on-one situation. But here it is. Uh, there we go. 18 and zero with light armor and a one-handed sword. I know a lot of people have been complaining about, you know, uh, heavy armors are OP or two-handed weapons are OP, but Take this as proof. You don't need like really good gears to own in this game. If you got good skills, you know how to block well, you know how to execute and time your attacks well, you can do so well in this game. A lot of it is skill, so this is what it is. If you like this video, if you like to see more, thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and more videos are going to come. I really like this game, and I'm going to make a whole series on different classes different playthroughs. So hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Ninjak signing out and I will see you guys next time.